What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton Disfield and today I'm going to do a review on a possibly game-changing product, the Spydro underwater camera. At the end of this video I will also give you a 10% discount code if you would like to buy one, but first let's see if this thing is as good as it says it is. First, let's go through the specs. The Spydro's dimensions are 15 by 3 by 3 centimeters. It weighs 3.1 ounces, is made of a toughened plastic. The Spydro is weighted so that it is always pointing upright under the water. The Spydro's density is similar to the density of water, so it sinks pretty slowly in fresh water and very slowly in salt water. It has two connection points to tie your line to the underwater camera, the Spydro, which is very strong and can handle any kind of sport fish. It is this guy right here. Outside the Spydro is completely buttonless. It turns on, charges, transfers data, detects water conditions, all from the magnetic strip. To charge the Spydro, all you have to do is plug in the provided cable into a USB port and place the adapter over the magnetic strip. The max battery life of a Spydro is 3.5 hours long of recording. That's pretty awesome. On the front of the camera, there is a full HD 30 frames per second camera. It is a wide angle camera that also shoots in standard definition at 720p at 60 frames per second, which allows for slow motion recording, which is pretty cool when a fish is swimming in slow motion and stuff. <laughs> There is a built-in 32 gig SD card for storing all of the video that you have captured. The Spydro also has two bright LEDs on the front and then the other colors indicate blue when the Spydro is on, red when the Spydro is recording and green and red when the Spydro is uh, charging. The Spydro connects to your phone using a built-in Wi-Fi connection. It connects from your phone to the Spydro which is very cool through an app which is available on Android and Apple. To connect the Spydro to your phone for the first time, all you have to do is download the app and register. Then to turn on your Spydro, it automatically turns on when it is wet. So just drop it in the water and then pull it out, then go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to your Spydro. If you are asked for a password, the password is Spydro1234 with a capital S. Then to turn off your Spydro, either leave it out of water for three minutes or what you can do is put it face down and hold it there for 10 seconds. It'll automatically uh, sense that and then automatically turn off. Once you are into your app, there are a few things to look at. The first thing you see is the map view. If you click on the red button on the top, the spider will start recording your trip, which is details like temperature, speed, salinity, location, and automatically logs your bites. This camera is ideal for skill for ski boats, fishermen, for sea kayaks, and anyone who uses trawling as a chosen method of fishing. It is absolutely perfect for that. Uh, you can watch how your lure swims, you can watch how your bait swims, you can see which uh, fish follow your bait but don't commit, you can watch how you get those bites that don't ever um, that don't ever connect. You can see that, and then also you can record all of your top top. Uh, bites that you get. It also records all of the data on your trip so while you are fishing it records all that data so that you can put all that data together and apply it to your fishing so that you can increase your, su your success rate. Then on the bottom left hand corner of the app you have the gallery where you can view all of the recorded video from your device. One small negative about this is that you have to uh, download it first. It doesn't let you view the footage directly from the Spydro's SD card but that's not too bad because once it's downloaded you can upload that footage directly onto your social media which is pretty cool. Then on the bottom right corner you have the live streaming which allows you to live stream your uh, from your Spydro to your phone so you can see what your Spydro is seeing. The tail of the Spydro has to be out of the water because Wi-Fi doesn't connect um, when it is underwater it doesn't connect through water. To overcome this, just use the flotation uh, fitting which comes with your Spydro when you buy it. It floats, so the Spydro's uh, tail is up in the air and then it points the camera down so that you can watch whatever your Spydro is watching in real time. 
What is nice is that you can set your Spydra up once with the app and then the Spydra will automatically apply those changes when it is used again in future without needing to use your cell phone, which is pretty cool. So for example, if the Spydro, if you uh, set the Spydro to record for uh, 10 minutes at 1080p at 30 frames per second, then the next time on the water without your phone, all you have to do is cast in your Spydro and it will automatically record in 1080p 30 frames per second for 10 minute clips. And it will continue recording those 10 minute clips until you turn the the Spydro off again. Very cool. So back to the top left. This is where you can change your camera settings. I prefer to shoot in 1080p 30 frames per second. It just gives me the maximum resolution that the Spydro can give. Then underneath that is the clip length. Now its default recording time is 30 seconds, which is great if you are setting the start recording trigger to bite trigger. But um, for my type of fishing, the freshwater carp fishing really is I prefer to set it to 10 minutes because I want to be able to watch the entire time that the spider is under the water. With the continuous recording setting, the camera will record your designated clip length, let's say 10 minutes, then stop recording at 10 minutes and immediately start recording the next 10 minute clip. So let's say you're recording for an hour, um, that's 60 minutes, you will have six 10 minute clips recorded onto your spider. Then you have the LED light settings, which can be turned off permanently, can be permanently turned on, and then it's got squid mode, which attracts squid. It's got a irregular pulse, which is quite exciting. The lights are a real game changer because if you want to record at night or in deep waters where the sunlight struggles to penetrate, the Spydro is there. Um, the Spydro's maximum depth is tested to 150 meters, but people have taken it further and the Spydro has been fine. It's just, it's been tested and set to 150 meters. So if you go anywhere 150 meters, sort it. So it's got auto off, which turns off the camera once it's been out of water for three minutes. Then it's got auto Wi-Fi off, which turns off the Wi-Fi whenever the Spydro is submerged and uh, can save you battery. Then you have the delete all, which is to clear the memory card. You have the measuring, which is imperial or metric. And then you've got what firmware version that you're on at the moment. Exiting the camera menu. Just under that, we have our record trigger settings. This is where the Spydro is top of its class. It wipes the competition because it has three recording modes. Continuous, which records as long as the Spydro is on. Bite, which records only when a fish bites. It has a sensor inside the Spydro uh, that when the Spydro is jerked suddenly, like when a fish bites, it starts recording. But it starts the recording 10 seconds before the fish actually bites. It's very clever, I don't know how it does it, but it allows you to get the action you need of the bite every time. It's, it's very clever. And then once the bite trigger is done, it records as long as you've set the clip length to be, say 30 seconds. Then it has combi. Uh, the combi setting is set to continuously record, but when the fish bites, it leaves a hook icon on the clip so that you can easily find uh, the time when the fish bit. Very cool. Then next to the recording triggers, you have the salinity, the temperature, the storage space left on your SD card, and the remaining battery life. Okay, with all of that done. So how is this thing to use? How is it to use the Spydro, this little clever thing? Well, I mostly use it for carp, barbel, bass fishing. I'm, I, that's, I'm a freshwater angler. And in terms of carp fishing, it's a real game changer. On the one hand, you can use it as an inline lead, which uh, and um, watch your rig underwater. You can see how the fish feed, how they react, um, and most importantly, watch how your rig acts underwater and see which baits the carp are feeding on. I have learned so much by uh, reviewing the footage that I've filmed on this thing so far. Other than using it, it as a inline lead, you can use it as your eyes underwater. Uh, all you gotta do is you tie a lead to the end of your camera, like a foot away, and then you can lower your Spydro down with your rod from a boat and you can use, use it to see the bottom that you're fishing over from the top down. You can see how your rig is sitting, you can pinpoint the snags and uh, flat spots and then with some effort you can remove all of the guessing games and replace that with high definition video facts which is absolutely brilliant. Like it's, it's like having goggles under the water, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can also cast a spider in from the bank and uh, use it as some reconnaissance to see what kind of bottom you're fishing over, um, to see whether the fish have eaten your bait or not yet. 
um, and, and find snags obviously whether you need to worry about the snags or you can target the snags. So, so with all that said, the pros and the cons of this interesting thing. First, let's go with the cons. The first thing, con that I can think of is you can only review the footage that's on the Spydro after you've uploaded it to your phone instead of streaming it directly from the, the Spydro's SD card. It's all right, um, you can still get your footage on the bank, it just is a little bit slower, you know, damn you instant uh, gratification. The next is that I wish it had a water detection recording mode so that it starts recording as soon as it hits the water and stops recording as soon as it's out the water, which is pretty much the opposite of the Wi-Fi off, auto Wi-Fi off setting. Um, ugh, but it's all right, I'm just fussy. Um, then it's a little slow to connect to my phone and tablet, but my phone and tablet are old as hell. Um, so that is the connection problem is probably down to my old phone and old tablet, which were made uh, with Noah's Ark. Um, and the last negative is when the LEDs are on in the front, I can see the lens pick up the LEDs, which is not a big deal. It's, it's just, I can see it, that's all. Um, then the positive, okay, the positives. It is a game changer. It allows you to see under the water. I can now see how my rigs work. I can see the bottoms that I'm fishing over so I, I can make better, more informed decisions um, on which rig to use, how to present my hook bait and where to put my rig to make it as effective as physically possible. Then the battery life. The battery life is also great because uh, when I got the footage for my uh, of the carp eating in my guide to carp fishing, link in the description below, I had to charge the underwater camera batteries every hour, which number one is irritating, number two, it scares all, all the fish away, so they have to get used to it and come back, and then number three, it's irritating to change it every hour. Um, but this thing is three and a half hours, which is the whole of bite time. So three and a half hours is plenty. Um, then the buttonless system is so lacquer um, after you've set it up right you just dip it in the water and immediately it turns on and then starts doing what you've asked it to do uh, and records however long you want it to it's really great overall it's a great product and that lets you have eyes underwater it can help you take your fishing to the next level as well as get you footage that you would never normally get um, it would normally be impossible um, they say the best camera is the camera that is in the right place at the right time and this thing's literally tied to the right place so it's really lacquer like that if you would like a 10 percent discount on this epic little camera um, go over to spydrosa.com and use the discount promo code ittf it's all capitals this only applies to southern african purchases so uh, sorry for you international guys but for south african guys you can get 10% discount. So that's it for this episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember uh, to subscribe for more epic vlogs, how-to guides, reviews, and so much more. Till next time, tight lines, guys. <laughs>